I think the great thing about WPP is we can use all of the major AI platforms to to create our work. We're not going to compete with the likes of Meta and Google in the sort of fundamental uh, technology. But I think that you know AI is going to be much more fundamental to our business, perhaps than the metaverse, if you like. Um, you know, we're using it, as you say, in our media business to target work, to target advertising, in our production business to to produce it. What's really changed in the last six months is the application of AI to language to pictures, to video, and there's such tremendous creative potential there. I mean, you mentioned the work that we did. We did a fantastic campaign for Cadbury's for Diwali last year in India, where we used AI to get Shah Rukh Khan, one of Bollywood's top stars, to produce millions of ads for local uh, Indian businesses. It produced great results uh, for the client. And so it's a it's a real creative uh, renaissance we're going to see with, with AI in our industry. And I think that's something that neither Google nor Meta can do. You know, they're fantastic technology companies, but at the end of the day, WPP is a creative organization. We use technology to produce work for clients. Mark, I think it's fascinating to hear how AI can impact the creative side, but how does it get you closer to targeting ads to customers? How does it work on that basis? You know, we might say to, you know, we might say, you know, who if, if you're in Wembley at four o'clock on a Saturday afternoon, there's a football match going on, we can reach you, you know, geographically. We know sort of what you might be interested in and what types of creative messages we could send. You're probably at a, a football match. We might know who your favorite team is. And what's interesting now is we can use AI to sort of abstract from personal information to, to protect consumers' privacy, but use many other data signals to get creative messages closer to clients. Um, Mark, just on, on pricing on AI, how's that yeah. going to be different? Well, you know, our business, some things we charge on an hourly basis and some things we charge sort of more on sort of fees. So I think parts of our business will grow. You know, AI is going to open up tremendous creative opportunities. We used AI to optimize our media business, but I said we haven't really used it as much in the creative parts of the company. And so some of the things that we do today will get automated and some of the things that we do today, well, many things will be will be new. I mean, I was looking at the sort of the people we have. Half the people at WPP today were in jobs that didn't exist 20 years ago. And I think AI is going to have a sort of similar change in creating lots of different types of jobs for people in our business, but really giving a lot more creative potential for you know people that work not just in WPP, by the way, but the broader kind of creative economy. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.